Hey, hey, happy people. Guess what time of the year it is. Hunting in Wisconsin. I'm so excited. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. I got up here, I drove up with the kids. We got here two nights ago. Yesterday it rained all afternoon, so I didn't sit. But today is my first sit. I have seriously the most perfect wind for the stand I'm about to hunt. I am so excited, I'm so excited. And I'm about to turn on a road which means I'm gonna hustle, get ready, and get in the woods. So, I will see you there. It is so pretty up here right now. It's gorgeous. Was amazing. I saw four deer, a pile of turkeys, everything was great, but it was my first sit. So I really want to see what else is up there. This morning, dad and I woke up, it was raining really hard, we didn't go out. So we spent the morning, got the kids some costumes, we went to Zuluween. I know, I see you filming me behind my <laughs> And we bailed. We left the kids with mom. And it's overcast, it's about 20 degrees colder, it's drizzling just a little bit, but I see geese flying over the fields, there's a lot of action going on driving up, so I'm really excited about tonight. I'm debating on what stand I'm gonna sit, so hopefully I make the right decision. Last night was epic, but Every time you go and hunt a new area, you hunt once, that's all it takes, and you realize you gotta get things. So, I am headed to Fleet Farm right now. I am getting a different bow holder, cover-up spray, and I, then I need to go to John's Sport Shop and get more arrows cut. Oh, and I forgot my arrows, shoot. You guys, I bought my first bow here like almost 20 years ago. That's how long the store's been here, and that's how long we've been using it. It's right here in Oshkosh. How are we doing? Hey, good. When I started coming here, the entire bow shop was all the way back there. And I used to bring Remy. They always have dogs here. It's like the place to hang. They got a nice little bow range over here where you can shoot. Oh yeah, people are in here. So you can shoot in here. This, literally, this is where I first got my bow. This is where I first started shooting. Like, this is like old school for me. This is Dean. This he has helped me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a number on it. Okay. Okay. It's been almost 20 years that he's been helping me. Huh? <laughs> I knew he would like that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so now Otis is his son. Otis works here too. Yes. Um, but yes, Dean has been helping me for all these years. He sold me my first bow. He helped me shoot back in the day, mm -hmm. and I'm still enjoying it. And he's still here today. So and come that's see where Dean. she got the name Maybelline. Maybelline. Yes. Look at those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Dean's always <laughs> called me Maybelline. Like to this day, he still calls me Maybelline. But he's been here all these all this time. So go say hi to Dean. He will help you Hello. dial whatever you need. And Otis is always here too. He cut my arrows for me. They look yeah, perfect. Inserts are glued in. Now it's time to get in the stand. That was the best sit yet. I had deer all around me, like the entire time. I had a nubby lick my ladder. Then the small little, he had like a paddle horn. He's got a weird side, I don't know. Anyway, he started bumping tonight, so it's the 25th. The rut is like right around the corner and the action is picking up. All the deer, you can tell they've got this weird demeanor about them. Oh my gosh, my heart was racing all night. Ah! I can't wait. Well, the rain has pushed in, you guys. 
So, it is cookie decorating day. Aunt Kimmy invited us over. We're at the farm right now. And we got the Mia girl and the kids. Ah! Hey, the Mia, oh, the Mia. Okay, you take me. <laughs> Sit down for me. Uh, but yeah, the rain, it's been like going strong all day. Um, but this is something fun to do. I'm glad it's serious. What did you guys do here the other day? Milk uh, the cows. Milk okay, cows. you got to milk the cows. I can hear them all. There was yelping for help to get milk. Shoes off when you go in. What are you doing? Eat a cookie. <laughs> Hopefully nobody's licked on it, you know? <laughs> okay, we've been here all day and uh, it is chore time. Those two little ones, I'll do separate. So. This one wants it so bad. Oh, you got She's it. She's measuring it. Are you trying to get the camera? Are you trying to get the camera? Two more. This one's good. You're doing it the old-fashioned way there, are you? That's the way they used to do it. Yeah, no. One of my my grandma in Florida, South North Florida, um, gave um uh, a bean in his father's house, and then that how they provided milk. Oh, really? Yeah, we do it a little faster now. All right. Now let's do it the new way. the land it's been drizzling all day but the temperatures are dropping it's now October 27th rut is right around the corner so I'm getting out a couple hours earlier than I have been because the last time I came in I jumped a deer so I know they're moving midday plus with this weather like shifting I'm excited for what tonight brings it could be a really really good sit for me I'm not gonna lie, I'm froze. The wind just kept picking up and picking up. And man, it never died down. I saw two young doe yearlings, and that's it. I have been hunting hard all week, sitting in my stand, putting long hours in the stand, and it just hasn't happened yet. But Robert surprised us, and he's flying to Wisconsin. So we're headed to the airport right now, and we're picking Robert up. Yeah. Goodness. Oh, give me a hug. I love you. Hey, honey pie. Hey, honey pie. Mm. Love you too. Oh, sorry, my just spilled on you. <laughs> it's okay. Look at you. I love you, honey. I love you. Hey, hey, I'm a happy man. <laughs> We're up here in Wisconsin. This is Sarah's property. And we came in here yesterday and tried to come up with a plan. This is a small track. It's only 30 acres, but it's got some good deer on it. The problem is it's surrounded by a bunch of other small tracks that gets a lot of uh, traffic. A lot of people hunt there. So right out here, we have a, a field, a natural field with a bunch of elms and the deer are hooking it down. Back here, this is all bedding. The deer come this way and feed out and make a big loop. So we know that we have a southeast wind. The wind is gonna blow like that. We want to hunt all this area. Over here are a bunch of trails. 
unfortunately there's a big trail right next to the tree stand but we'll see how it goes right now we have a bunch of these branches that I do not want to leave there long story short if you leave them there you can grab a hold of the tree branch next thing you know you better know how to know how to fly so we're going to try to get a tree stand up in this tree where we can see out across the field and we can see back here we're going to break off all those so you have a, a whole wing back there for everyone who thinks sarah's not tough <laughs> Here she is. Oh, are there people who think I don't, I'm not tough? All right. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I gotta go down and get the strap. Okay. Ladies, you gotta find yourself a different professional hunter because that one's taken. Oh man, he's only up here two days, but he's helping me out. Dad's been helping me out all year. It's just these deer are getting used to those spots. So we're switching things up a little bit. I don't even know what day we're on. I've been hunting so much up here. But Rob just came up. We hung two new lock-ons. And the temperatures are rising. So the deer have been like totally out of sorts. But they just cut the back field. It, there was all soybeans back there. They just cut it last night. So tonight's my first sit in that back corner stand. I don't know. I got a good feeling. But I've had a good feeling all week. <laughs> So you never know. Well, it's day 926 in the woods. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's been three and a half weeks and I still don't have a deer. So I'm headed back to the land again. I stopped a quick trip, got myself this cranberry wild rice sandwich, like I do almost every time I come up here. And I'm hoping tonight is the night because I am running out of time at this point. Rob just went, he's in Illinois. And then we gotta go to Oklahoma. So my time is dwindling rapidly. I'm seeing deer, you guys. It's just not close enough to pull the trigger on. I had three different bucks I would've shot last night, but again, too far away. It's just not happening. So hopefully tonight's my night. Thirty minutes ago, Sarah texted me and she said, "I just shot a buck." Oh my gosh, she has hunted so hard for like the past three weeks. Every day, like she sat, 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 and it happened this morning. Thank you, Lord. I have been praying. It's my last morning hunt with my dad. I cried last year. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. I've put so much time in this stand this year. I have hunted so hard. My parents have been working with me the whole time, watching the kids, letting me come up, letting me hunt. It's been a hard year, it's been a crazy year, and the Lord just blessed me with the biggest bow kill I've ever had up here. Gosh. There's mom. Hello there. Congrats, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's a um, Can I have my jacket? Yeah, let's go get it. It's cold out here. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. Where's your bow? Did you get one? Oh. Oh, it's over there. I didn't see a deer. Oh, I was right. I got one. I got one. I got one. Good. I hope it's a. It's nice. Is it? It's my biggest bow kill up here. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Woohoo! And we got Mia for the tracker. Oh, Dad's back, Mom's here, well, the I girls get, are here. We got the meat lean mean tracking machine, aka Mia. She's here. <laughs> I, I so we're about to go in the woods well, and, and see what we got. I gotta change Mia! Okay girls, no, no, we're not running. 
Yep. So this is what I, this is where I walk every single time I come in the woods. Where's it here? Where is it? Where is it? I think you went right up here. Where did you go there? All right, you guys. Dad and I have been all over the place, and we can't find a single drop of blood. We can't find my arrow. We can't find nothing. So I reached out to Matt, Mike Alguire on Facebook. I reached out to our friend Josh Whitman, and we got in touch with a great dog tracker up here in Watoma. So he is free. He's going to come tonight. He's going to be here around nine. I'm just praying this deer is somewhere. So right here, I'd say just hold off a second until I can get him to yep, line absolutely. out. And then um, usually he'll do, uh, I just call this kind of inventory taking right now. Uh, Quote if I'm, there's so many deer that go in and out of here. There is not a single nothing. There, my arrow, my knock, I am shooting nocturnals. I, we did not find that. We don't have anything to go by. And this is a very experienced dog. He brought Rex in. Rex really worked the property. A few times I got excited, but it turned out to be nothing. So I exhausted all my options at this point. I'm very thankful that these guys took time out of their day to help me. I, I would have regretted not taking the shot if that deer ran. I regret shooting because he flinched. I mean, And when I let go of my arrow, I was confident with that shot. If you would have asked me this morning if I went to found that deer, there's no way I would have told you I'd still be in the woods at dark, leaving empty handed. We never found the deer. And you know, I didn't really know how to end this video and I'm really upset, but I can't say I didn't try. I can't say I didn't give it my all. <sighs> It happens to the best of us and I have to accept that and I have to just buckle up, pull myself together and make, make it right in Oklahoma. So thank you very much for watching and I'm sorry again, <laughs> but until next time, take care, God bless, and we are gone.